so first off, congratulations on the new single. Tell us a little bit about Skin and what it's all about. Oh man, Skin is about, you know, me and my, my girl getting ready to go out for a night of a town. And we realized that when I see her come downstairs, I'm like, wait a minute. Oh no, you look too good. I gotta, I can't, I can't share your head and enjoy you myself. So, and likewise for her, she was like, wait a minute, you know, we, maybe we should think about this date and let's just cook in and enjoy each other. And we end up just, you know, coloring and having our skin, skin all over each other. So that's how the record, that's what really much the story is about. Just uh, um, me, you and your girl deciding to go out and you realize, oh no, I got, I can't share you with nobody else. I got to just enjoy you to myself. And next thing you know, you stay in and you have a nice meal and, you know, nice date night home and Netflix and, you know, and you, next thing you know, you're all over each other. So <laughs> now, uh, you've done some great visuals for the song. Uh, talk a little bit about the visual component and how you integrated uh, the visuals with the music. You know, I didn't want to go overboard with just body and skin everywhere with the video because we could have went a whole other direction. So I wanted something interesting. And I wanted a nice story. You know, when, when we actually were creating the video, we just wanted to have something that was you know, I'm in the kitchen cooking a meal and something that was organic that guys could say, okay, I normally could do that, I do that. Um, but we wanted just to have some cool effects that young people will be interested in seeing with the video. So we have, I think I got myself, I'm three dimensional. In some places you might see me come in with like a, kind of like a um, chain reaction pause effect, if you've seen that. Uh, but we just wanted just to create some cool things that we felt that young people and millennials would like to see. I also did a cool lyric video, I don't know if you've seen that, but that has a lot of different graphics in and out of the shots, um, separate from the actual real video. So I just wanted just to stay cutting edge because right now you have to use everything possible, you know, to get viewers, you know, so it's all about creating those you know, viewers that normally it's hard to get, but with a cool effect and image, you can get people to actually take a look and say, well, that looks pretty cool, okay. So combined with the story and with the you know, lyrics, what the record is saying, and then we're our effects guy. I think we created something cool and, you know, uh, exciting for people, you know, older and younger, to want to watch. Mm -hmm. Now, it's part of a, the, a visual album, sort of, of, of other singles that you put together. Talk about the other, uh, the other singles and how they all relate together. So what we did with this project, it's a mini, um, it's a, I call it, it's an album visual EP. So congratulations to the first song. So I meet the girl who's playing, she's playing my wife in every video. So I, I first meet her in the congratulations song. You know, I'm going out, I'm looking for somebody and, you know, all of a sudden I find this girl, oh my God. You know, she ended up being my, my, my woman. So that trickles on to us having date night, which is skin, you know. And then after that record, we go into um, the way you make me feel. So as a date night happens, you know, I'm still, I used to be a player, but, you know, I still got girls calling me, you know, so in that scan video, you see the girl calling, and, and so the next video is the way it made me feel. We going out, and the girl calls me, so my girl gets pissed off, so we go into that video. Uh, then after that, we make up, you know, I, I win a trust back, and the next thing you know, I propose to her, and then we go to another video, which is called Unlock You Beautiful. You know, I get married. To her and then we go from there to count the ways which is the ending of the of the story so in that video i'm actually 77 years old and my wife is old as well and we just look at back at all the other videos you'll see repetition of videos repeating throughout uh -huh. and you see the final how it all comes together so that's that's the storyline uh, that's a cool idea now you've worked with a lot of great singers some of the greatest like beyonce jennifer hudson what, what did you take away from all those experiences working with, you know, some of the best in the business? I mean, yeah, you know, as other interviews I stated, I learned a lot from Beyonce as well, as far as like, you know, being on time and, you know, we're over rehearsing. So I, was, I, was, I tell a story when Beyonce has a show like at 8 p.m., she was, she's rehearsing like at 9 a.m. in the morning until curtain call. So just seeing that whole process of her, like how she gets her show ready, and if she makes a minor mistake, you won't notice because it's so rehearsed that uh, it, it doesn't even come across as being, you know, so everything is just tight. Alicia Keys, I learned from her just, you know, putting together a nice show. Um, again, she rehearses really well as well, but just creating a whole balance of a show with, you know, having everybody get all the material first up front and a nice mini rehearsal before we actually go on stage. 
and just seeing how she actually has a mic check and, you know, just seeing her team. So her is like a team management thing that she has that really works well for her. But, you know, and everybody I work with so far, she's always been punctuality, number one, you know, rehearsing as much as possible before your, you know, curtain call. And just also being nice to everybody because I learned also that most of these singers, they're nice to the musicians and also the sound guy because that person, the sound guy, can really mess you up. So you want to make sure. <laughs> it's a good point, right? <laughs> make sure everybody. So they are overly nice to all the staff, you know, and the musicians around them because it makes for a great show for everybody. So I learned how to actually those talks happen, you know, uh, behind the scenes. So, you know, I learned all that stuff.